What's up everybody? It's my favorite time of year. It is gardening season and this video is going to be jam-packed full of gardening tips you don't want to miss. Stay tuned. So I've spent the last couple of days cleaning up these beds behind me, pulling weeds, putting a fresh load of pine needles around the beds. That way I don't have to worry about weeds. I like that nice clean look it gives you. And it's easier to put out than mulch. I think we've had our last frost here in North Carolina, so I'm gonna be planting my warm season veggies like your tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and while I do that, I'm gonna show you what soil amendments I'm gonna be putting back into these beds so that the plants will have fresh nutrients. Hey, before I do that, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can get updates every time we release a single video. We're gonna be giving out lots of gardening tips this season, not just vegetables, flowers and shrubs too, and you need to subscribe so you don't miss it. Before we get started planting, I want to go over my raised beds. There's five of them here, and a lot of you ask what does the beds have in them, and they're actually like 50% topsoil on the bottom half, and the top half is mushroom compost. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am going to be adding some nutrients and fresh uh, compost to the beds, but these are already chock full of nutrients. I mean, you can just see um, how... Uh, dark the soil is how loamy this is really really good stuff i love mushroom compost for gardening now i have four beds that are eight feet by four feet and the one in the back is actually 12 feet by four feet i went a little overboard with the height you don't actually need to build beds at home this tall but i don't like to bend over to pick weeds and this is just pressure treated decking board yes it's pressure treated they don't treat with arsenic anymore they actually treat with copper so this is safe to garden in all right before i start planting let's actually talk about the compost i'm going to be used there are so many options out there that work great at your local garden center i'm sure you can find chicken manure compost cow manure compost mushroom compost in one of my videos i used happy frog potting soil which worked great i love it. it's got worm castings back castings some really good ingredients but for this particular video i'm going to be trying something new this year introducing stout ollie this is actually made in south carolina no i'm not sponsored or endorsed by stout ollie i just wanted to try it we got this in our garden center and it's got some really good ingredients like cow manure compost um fish compost and there's one more other ingredient, uh, composted plant material. Sorry about that. And every year, I just like to try something different. You know, I, all the stuff I mentioned works great. I just like to spice it up, try something new. You never know. And I always love putting fresh nutrients in my beds because after a season of growing, those plants kind of suck up all the nutrients and you want to make sure you put fresh nutrients in every season. All right, so first we're gonna be planting our cucumbers. This is the 12 foot bed I had in the back and we've got chicken wire running along the back of it. That way we don't have to stake our cucumbers. We can just kind of tie them up as they grow to the chicken wire. So I'm gonna mostly be planting pickling cucumbers. My wife and I enjoy the small pickling type. So I've got pick a bushel that grow to five to six inches or three to six inches. I've also got homemade pickles and also sweet success and burpless 26 which are both burpless cucumbers and they grow long and slender so i'm going to be putting a handful of stout ollie in each hole and i'm going to be planting these about six inches apart let's get after it now a good sign of a healthy plant is these white roots
I love having these raised beds so I don't have to rotor till. You know, it's a no dig. Well, not no dig, but you just kind of dig with your hand, put the compost in there, makes it super easy. And I've got all this space in the front to grow something else, like tomatoes or peppers. You just gotta stay tuned and find out. Okay, so this video is actually taking a little bit longer than I thought, and I don't want a big, huge, long video. So what I'm gonna do is break this down into a couple other videos where I'll show you where I'm planting my squash and zucchini and peppers, tomatoes, cantaloupes, watermelons, that sort of thing. Be on the lookout for part two. I will see you soon.